Daily carry bags are something that I think we all super enjoy. And this one has been amazing to use. I now know why it's a Carryology award-winning day pack. This is the Evade 1.5 from Alpha 1.9er. Let's get into it. Okay, so I had the privilege of talking to Alpha 1.9er about this backpack and they were kind enough to send over. This is the light version. And there's only one difference, maybe two differences between the light and the regular. The regular has a laptop compartment that can fit up to a 15 inch laptop. This does not. And I believe that the regular version is 25 liters where this one without the laptop compartment clocks in at about 21 to 22 liters. But I'll be honest with you, I really like this thing a lot. I like it that I don't need it for a laptop compartment. This isn't my bring it to work bag but it has been my bring it to work bag. And I'll show you something you can do to make this backpack work without a laptop compartment that I think works really well. But overall, this has been my go-to. It's going a small hike kind of bag and a little bit of, let me go to the office. And then somewhat with the setup I'm currently running in here, my, let me go take some footage, some B-roll footage of some other reviews that I'm doing or some footage that I'm doing for companies or whatever. And honestly, overall, this backpack has been insanely fun to use. One thing up top here, I will say, this bag allows you to put your own custom patches. Now I have a couple of my own custom patches from when I was in the Marine Corps, but those are on uh, my like ruck bags and my medical kits. So you also comes with, you also comes with, this bag also comes with uh, a patch that can go over this Velcro. It'll be the same color as the bag. If you're not into having patches, it's a good place to put like a name tag, you know, maybe um, a patch that's custom made with like all your information in case the bag gets lost, things like that, like shipping address if you want to use luggage tags, anything like that. So I really love the ability to put a patch on there. I did rock one for a little bit, but like I said, overall, I like this, the whole flat aesthetic with just this over it, I think looks really good. The build quality on this thing, right? For one, it comes in at about 4.4 pounds empty which I know what a lot of us are thinking, dang, that's pretty heavy for a small day bag clocking in at about 21 to 25 liters. And you're right, it is definitely heavy for a bag of this size, but the reason why it's heavy and the reason why it weighs a little bit more is because the materials, the build quality, the organization, the pockets, and the fabric and materials, if I didn't already say that, that are being used are really, really high end. And also just the durability of what this bag can do explains why it weighs so much. And honestly, even though it comes in at four and a half pounds at the size of this bag, you're not gonna be feeling it super heavy to the point where that weight's gonna make a difference unless you're specifically using this for like a range bag or a gear bag where you're loading heavier gear. In which that case, you have the option to buy hip straps that connect down here that will help distribute that weight a little bit better. Let's talk about the harness and straps on this bag. For one, you've got one grab handle up here at the top, nothing on the sides, nothing on the bottom. A really good handle here at the top, some webbing over a nice piece of foam that really distributes the weight well on this bag. But then you have these straps, and these are some high quality foam straps with some very, very solid load lifters. I love the way these load lifters are designed because for one, with the loops here at the bottom, it's easy to adjust on the fly, but I love that they're kind of stuck to the bag in the sense that it has this like little strap that kind of keeps it flush with the strap so they're not dangling everywhere, which is a problem I see a lot on load lifters. It's great to have them, but you have nowhere to secure them. So these are secured nicely to the bag, and honestly, it distributes that weight really well, getting it up on my shoulders. Even with this bag loaded out with my camera gear, probably clocks in at about, I don't know, maybe 12 to 15 pounds, and it wasn't super heavy. Another thing is the comfort factor, right? These straps are big and kind of beefy for the bag of this size. I like that they're comfortable. I like that they pair really well with this foam here on the back for the air channel in the middle. This is very comfortable sitting up against your back. And it breathes super, super nicely. Also what you have here in the middle is a Velcro luggage pass through that you can use if you want to pair this with a roller luggage if you want to. We have four places for compression straps that can also be used to hold in, you know, like longer tripods or anything like that on each side of the bag. Four of these suckers that work really well. I like them. Um, 
I don't typically put things in these, and especially with this at the front, which we'll get into in a second. These side pockets, as you can see, I've got one with my Hydro Flask from Wandered that fits really nicely in there, and the other one, kind of with this strap here at the bottom, it fits my uh, GoPro, because right now I have this loaded out for if I was gonna go take uh, photography. So these both work really well for tripods, bigger water bottles, or anything that's like kind of long and Yankee that you want kind of easy access to. So a GoPro and water bottle, and they have some really nice stretch to them. You can fit some, some larger water bottles in these things, but just some really nice high quality um, pockets on this thing. So the materials on this bag, the outside is a 500D Cordura nylon, and it's from a CT mill called Brookwood. Inside lining is a 210D ripstop nylon. You've got some nice YKK zippers with some really nice zipper pulls, some really nice zippers on this thing. One thing I will point out is no weather guard zips and no weather guard seals. So this thing, it looks like it definitely has some durability with water, no uh, drain for the pockets, but overall not a bag that you really want to get stuck in any kind of rainstorm in, not that you want to get stuck in a rainstorm in any bag. Then at the front here, you have this, this, this little, this is like a little elastic strap that goes through that can be tightened at the bottom. This is a perfect spot to put a jacket or anything of that nature. I actually threw my puffy jacket in here and it worked really well. You can tighten it, but this is also removable if you wanted to get some extra lash straps to kind of throw across here at the top for anything. You could also use those uh, for that as well. Okay, with all of that, I'm gonna go and show you how I have this bag loaded out and I'm gonna show you something fun you can also do with this bag at the end. This very front compartment is an admin pouch and this admin pouch has a whole bunch of internal organization. What I have here at the front is I've just thrown my iPad just resting in here. There is a compartment that it can fit in, but I have something else in there. So you've got my nice iPad mini here at the front. Then you've got three spots here for pins or pencils. A little compartment here that will actually fit um, a cell phone. This is a Google phone. It'll also fit an iPhone. So if you needed to you know, put your phone away, whether this is like your carry on for security, it's a good security pocket because there's also a pocket up here at the front that has some mesh. You can see that, that unzips. It's a good pocket to dump like your wallet, keys, uh, anything that you have in your pockets when you're going through security, you know, you can throw your phone right there and then you can go through security. So that's also another benefit, but it also will fit like a small notepad, something like that. You've got a spot over here for business cards and then a top zipper that's got a little bit of dimension, the length of this pocket. Because what the thing is, this pocket is actually completely Velcro and you can get a different admin pocket if you want to and switch them out. But up there behind that, you've got a place here to clip on to whatever you want to clip on. You're going to see a lot of these throughout this bag. They have some accessories you can buy. They're like pouches and things that hook onto these. But even below that, there's a pocket here. And I've thrown a giant notebook because this pocket actually goes down uh, almost the whole length of the front of the bag, right? So this is also a spot that you could put uh, your iPad mini. I don't think anything much bigger on the tablet size would fit, but travel notebook and things like that also will fit really well in this front compartment. This admin pocket also comes with a key clippy dip for your keys if you want to clippy dip your keys, but it also stays out of the way pretty nicely if you don't want to use it. Very solid admin pouch. I really like the way this thing is organized. I think it works really well because there's not too much going on here, but there's enough we can organize it with the little things that you might need, such as like maybe you want to put like USB sticks in here and you got pens and pencils and a notebook and then, you know, mesh pocket up here for like a little pouch of extra dongles or cords or anything like that. You've got lots of options here. One thing to note is if you do have something on this elastic and you want to get into this compartment, it can be kind of cumbersome to kind of want to, depending on what you have in here, to kind of get it out of the way to get in. But overall, not that big of an issue. And then up behind that admin pouch, you have a nice little soft lined pouch. I don't know if it's like fleece or felt. This is a good spot for sunglasses, right? Nice little front quick access compartment. You could also put your cell phone in there. Um, you could probably fit your wallet, keys, things like that. It's a decent sized little front admin, front, uh, not admin, front quick access compartment. Okay, now if this was the full version, on the back here is where that laptop compartment would be. 
But since this is the light version, you just have your main compartment, which is going to open clamshell, right? And this is how I have mine set up for photography. I've got my favorite tech pouch right now, my boundary supply tech pouch. And then I've got the boundary supply Renin pouch as well in here because I just did a review on these. And this thing is awesome for some larger items. I got some extra lenses and things in that pouch right there. And then for my main camera cube, this is the Wandered uh, Mini camera cube. This is perfect. I can fit all of my extra camera gear and batteries and stuff in here. And this is your main compartment, right? Just a nice big open chasm with some nice depth to it. Velcro on the back, if you have any Velcro pouches or um, panels or anything that you want to put in here, you absolutely can. And then these are more of those hooks that I was talking about that they have extra pouches that can kind of fill up in here. Um, they're like Russian nesting doll pouches where you can get like a large, medium, and a small, you know, kind of fit inside each other and you can kind of pull them out, depending on how you want to run this. But then on the front side of the bag, you've got two mesh guys here for extra organization with three more of those little hooks here, right? So you've got plenty of space here for organization. And then you got that nice ripstop lining here on the inside. But here's something that I really like about this bag. Even though it comes in around the 22 liter mark, you can still use it for a nice one to three day overnight bag. Okay, this is my boundary supply uh, admin fuel pouch, right? This is one way that you can use this bag with a laptop compartment and you can just kind of pull this out and it fits up to a 15 inch laptop. And you can just kind of put this in here. Any extra laptop sleeve would honestly work in this. So you could put that right there. But if you want to load this thing out for travel, right? This is a packed one, or I'm sorry, a packed packing cube, packed packing cube that I recently just got and I wanted to try out. This is loaded with all my clothes. Then I've got my little small gravel dop kit for all my toiletry items, a pair of overnight sneaker shoes, my packable swabs are in this one. Then I could throw this laptop, zip this thing up, bada bing bada boom, and it'll stay up on its own when you pack it out right. You can easily use this thing for a very minimal one bag travel. Honestly, I'm not far off from being able to use this thing as a regular travel bag because almost everything I need to take is on the inside. I'd probably get rid of my packable shoes. I was using this on a longer trip and maybe fill that space up with a couple extra clothing items, extra t-shirts, some underwear and socks. Keep that dop kit in there and then keep everything I had in the front, which everything that I had in here that I took out will still fit in. And I could run this thing easily as an overnight bag or a week travel or a month. This thing is durable enough. It's comfortable enough to want to carry this thing around but it's also small enough that when I get to where I'm going, I can use that as daily carry. So the bag really does double as quite a few different things from being able to run a photography loadout to having spots here if you wanna use it on the range as a, like a range bag or a photo like photography, range, travel, uh, just your regular work bag. It can do a variety of things and it's loaded with tons of killer organization, but it's not overloaded with so many features that you kind of get overwhelmed with how much it can do. It's one of my favorite day bags that I've used in honestly quite a long time. There is one more thing on this bag that I will show you. It's on the sides here at the back. On both sides, there's a zipper guy that goes down and this is a panel that runs all the way through. You could fit an extra, like a, a probably a decent size iPad, like up to like a nine and a half inch, whatever the normal iPad is, not an iPad Pro. You fit your iPad mini, you can fit a magazine. But this is like for those of us that conceal carry, right? You can easily put a Velcro holster back here for your pistol and you can conceal carry with this backpack. So, you know, there are bags out there that allow that, but it's a great spot for extra organization for those of us that, you know, don't conceal carry. Still another great addition to this bag. So just to quickly recap, for one, one of my favorite bags that I've used in a long time for the daily carry aspect, but excellent killer materials that feel really well and are extremely durable. Super comfortable harness system, even though it's a heavier bag, very comfortable harness system. Depending on how you load this thing out, you honestly always have some extreme comfort and wonderful organization and capacity. Even though it comes in, this is the light version, like I said, you could do everything I just did 
with the regular version as well. Um, and you probably even have more room because you wouldn't have to take the, the laptop sleeve like I did. Um, but tons of organization and great capacity for a very small hybrid bag. In my opinion, this goes more from the day pack range to a hybrid travel bag just because of how much it can fit and how easy it was to transform it into a travel bag. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my very best to answer those for you. Go follow Alpha One Niner on Instagram. I'm gonna start shouting out these uh, bag companies on their Instagram. I'll link to the Instagram below. Awesome company, great dude. I had the privilege to talk to him, just super cool. Again, thank you so much for sending this bag over to me. Really appreciate it, um, and I love it. So thank you very much. Uh, Shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com if you want to talk lists, suggestions, more bags, more, more photos or videos. Just let me know. Shoot me an email over there. Um, if you guys could, leave this video a like, subscribe for more of a nonsense, and I will see you next time.